Well, hello everybody out there in Atlanta. This is Chris from HLegacy.com with another exciting episode of Tobas Auto. We are back out at Universal Atlanta Resort today to check on the continued construction progress in the streets for Halloween Horror Nights 30. We are officially two weeks. Two weeks away from today is the start of opening night as the crazy lady from Total Recall <laughs> has just said. Two weeks. Uh, not a whole lot has gone out since we last left on Monday, but there is a little bit of stuff that we have to look at. It is a brutally hot day today. I think the heat index is like 109 degrees or some shit. It is fucking hot. So uh, I'm actually glad there's not a whole lot of stuff <laughs> because I don't want to be out here in this heat uh, for, for too long. Uh, but there's been some modifications to some structures that we got to look at. Some stuff over there in the lights, camera, action zone. Plus some uh, interesting developments for a certain bar that I wanted to, uh, or I, you know, I made mention about before. Uh, you know, we might have some changes this year, so uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's have some fun. Here's today's look down Production Central. Another quiet day out here. There's not a whole lot of people. Of course, we got 30 years, 30 years around here. Spickle Me is at 25 and Shrek is at 15. So, even a little bit quieter than when we were here on Monday. So, <laughs> it is what it is. Now, nothing really new to see in 30 years, 30 years. So, I think we'll just move on a little bit. See what we're here to see. Of course, stroller, parking. Yes, we know. But that's it, nothing new. 30 years, 30 years. I take that back. We have a fog machine. Let the fog roll in 30 years, 30 years. I guess I think it's a fog machine. Pretty sure it is. That's it. So this is of course the first interesting thing that we see here. Uh, a lot of the food and beverage tents this year have received themed skins. So this one is over uh, by the plaza here. It is the sweet shop. Of course, we do have Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. So <laughs> come get your sweets. Go to the Revenge of the Tooth Fairy and see what happens. So this one, this is the first one. We'll see a bunch of these today. So this is kind of our main focus today's update so this is the first one that we see and it is the sweet shop so over on this side of the New York streets here the tents that are usually over here this one is themed towards of course Texas Chainsaw Massacre now Revenge of the Tooth Fairy Texas Chainsaw Massacre and over here we have a castle over here uh, obviously Bride of Frankenstein lives Texas Chainsaw Massacre sweets for Tooth Fairy and then over here those things down the street last uh, last time that I said looked like a circus or whatever. I think this is for Jack the Clown. This is the Jack in the Box, if you will. Of course, Icons HHN will be up here as well. So, a lot of theming going on here now. The, the lines over here for the food tents are interesting. Like I alluded to in the other video, this is uh, for Stain and Scream over here uh, in the Finnegan Stain and Scream, which is what it's usually called. People usually line up here to get let out for staying and Scream, but because these things are here this year, I have a feeling that some of the logistics with the staying and Scream in Finnegan's will be a little bit different. So, so yeah, so circus theme, Jack the Clown theme is what I'm going with. Jack in the box. Jack, Jack's box. <laughs> um, and then castle over here. And then Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the gas station, over here we have another little tent up front that is also themed towards the castle. Here is the other one in front of Grace for New York, castle themed, goes pretty well with the Bride of Frankenstein Lake. So that's pretty much it for up front here so far, I wouldn't be surprised if there are more that show up but that's it for up here for now 
nothing currently new in Seek and Destroy. Same old stuff here. Worth noting that, of course, next Thursday is the Passholder preview for the Tribute Store. I unfortunately have to work, so I will not be out here for the Passholder preview. But I will be out here with the rest of the peons the next day when it opens to the public. So, but nothing new to report and seek and destroy. Same old stuff that we've been seeing, no new screens added, just the screen still up there. And the screen over on this thing over here. Oh, we got a body. Ha <laughs> ha. We do got a body. Dead body. In front of the truck here. There you go, dead body. Don't see any other new dead bodies. They have covered up the screen over here to protect it from the elements, I assume. That's it. So this is something that I wanted to point out before. Now, I've said that, uh, you know, that we usually have that themed bar that's over by the Transformers extended queue. Now, with the lack of them taking out the switchbacks in recent days with two weeks left to go, I am going to assume that over in Battery Park, this is going to take over for that. Uh, now, they, they did put uh, that summer thing over here this past summer, so it kind of makes sense. So I'm going to assume this is where the quote-unquote themed bar will be this year. I do not think it'll be over by the extended queue. I could be wrong, but uh, I uh, since I have not seen any progress over there, I don't think that it'll be over there. I think this is it for this year. So Down in Lights, Camera, Action, we have a couple of different things added. Some actual 3D props added to the uh, stages here. So this one is the generic HHN stage. Got some uh, some tombstones here, and of course there appears they're working on the set, but that of course is part of the set. <laughs> so that's the HHN one there. The towers that we've been seeing have uh, received uh, what look like projections on the top there. So we'll get some projections, I think, on the walls. Here's the Van 55 stage. We've got the ice cream cart, the famous ice cream cart. If I can find the picture, I'll uh, I'll put it in the video from Van 55. There is the Treaks and Foon stage. Got some festive colors and candies and stuff, and tubs of stuff here. Very cool. Now, of course. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about Treaks and Foons as of late. I did find a very old, grainy video of the Treaks and Foons that I had from 2002. You can see that on my YouTube channel. Uh, there was, of course, foam involved. Here's another projection. 3D projections, of course. I do not believe we, were, we are going to have foam <laughs> for Treaks and Foons. But there's the uh, banners. So people take pictures, of course. But we will wait our turn. But yes, I don't believe there's going to be foam in the Tricks and Foons part. Maybe we'll have bubbles. Little bubbles, I think, but probably about it. And of course some crashed UFO props and rocks in the Invasion set here. I like how all these have like, they're building the set. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. But that is all that is in Lights, Camera, Haction as of today. Um, I do think the projections are going to be cool, these 3D projections on the buildings. That's it. Let's go check out some of the preview merch for this week. Looks like they're still doing those portrait thingies that you could have done. A couple different tiers, but no, $200 is a lot, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of money to swallow. <laughs> but you can still do it. Here is a look at this week's preview shirt. It's another Frankenstein shirt. A little bit. This is the artist series, or artist signature series, I should say. I do like this, and I like how 
the Halloween Horror Nights logo is in different colors there. There's the guy's artist name there. I feel like it's my duty now to get a report. So, plenty of uh, sizes available. Lots of preview merch still available from before. Here's some more of this week's merch. And here is that Jack one from a couple weeks ago. Still plenty of glasses, socks. Of course, the bloody popcorn <laughs> for the director. So there you go, this week's preview merch. Quick walkthrough of the Gorewood first. A couple little accent details on the banners, the Queen's banners there. Stuff on the bases here. We've got some stuff over here, some details added to the terror mines, stuff around it, grasses, lights, stuff here. What do you mean get back on the run? What happened there? Some more over there, and then we've got this stuff over here. Quite a lot of people. Some details over here. Some more. Covered up dead bodies, of course. <laughs> On the carts here. Stuff down on this end. Starting to drizzle a little bit, so that's good to cool things off. Got some. Looks like more covered up thingies there. Could be wrong, but a lot of stuff. Big piece over here. These, uh, these are. He's this thing uh, has been repainted. Uh, these things are pretty much stored in the back. Uh, <laughs> from Lair of the Banshees, but we're using them for Garwood Forest this year. That same sort of blue color scheme type thing. More details over there. A lot more details added around the big mine. Fog. Another one of those reused Layer of the Banshees props here. And then, of course, it's covered. It's in camo. It is another dead body over here. <laughs> another dead body over here. Stuff over there. Hi. Hi, I'm good. You're good? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Details around the tree here. Got some triggers up there, some step triggers for the scare actors. Right there. Got a hoist over there, very cool. Cannot wait for the scare zone. Very intrigued, but that's it. No more new details in here just yet. A lot of plant stuff going on. Good stuff on the tree here. There's uh, white things here. Up the tree. Got more over there. More over there. But, uh... Very cool. Might have to bring back that, um... That thing from a couple years ago. See people randomly wave at the camera, take a shot. But well, that's it. No more new things. A lot of, a lot of new details in here, though. Very cool. It was starting to drizzle. There you go. Nothing really new added to the entryway to Carnage Factory. Just some stuff on the bottom here. These nifty little things. That's it for here. So, over in the Kid Zone Rotunda, we have more skinned themed bars here. This one, of course, is Beetlejuice, advertising for Twisted Taters. 
either Beetlejuice is having a rough year or is going to make a lot of money selling Twisted Taters at Universal. Over here, now we saw this last week. I did not point it out uh, officially. I did take a picture of it, but this is, of course, uh, Haunting of Hill House. That is Hill House facade there. And then over here, we have another castle looking uh, thing for the bar here. So, Hill House castle. Beetlejuice over here. Now, of course, the, the, we still got a couple more to look at, but uh, there will probably be a little bit more maybe not themed uh, tents, but uh, of course, you know, this one, everyone went gaga for this one yesterday, the Beetlejuice one here. So very cool. Once again, two weeks out, I still do not see any lights on the buildings in Springfield. I am beginning to really think that we will not have roaming hordes this year. Unless they're in another location. They're usually in Springfield. Uh, we definitely would have seen lights up by now, I believe. But there is nothing, so... Bear that in mind. Still two weeks left to go, but uh, it is two weeks left to go. <laughs> so, so it's kind of, uh, kind of weird that we don't see anything back here, so... That is my guess. Got bar set up, of course, over by Men of Black. This bar is always here. Castle themed for this one. It's over by the entrances to over here. And World Expo. Got a couple more to look at, at least one more. Here is today's hype check on Welcome to Scary, Horror in the Heartland. All as well. And another one over here, strictly castle themed, but there's one more that we are going to look at over here, and I think it might be my favorite one. <laughs> I'll be over there in a moment. There's Chucky, of course. Chucky. Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. And look at this. A lot of pumpkins. I love these guys up here. Obviously, Wicked Growth is a house this year. Look at that guy. So this is over by the Chucky meet and greet over there in between the London waterfront, the Fifth Factor Live stage, Men of Black, and Springfield uh, Bridge. The line has been lined with pumpkins. But my favorite thing are these guys sticking out on the top there. Look at those. Very cool. Over on the side, right before you enter the Crypt TV Scare Zone in San Francisco, those lighting rigs that we saw a couple weeks ago that did not have any lights on them, now they have strong lights. Tiny red and orange lights and a bar over there. So there you go. Quick aside, walking through Crypt TV, I see nothing new from whence we last left on Tuesday. So still the same old stuff. Nothing new just yet. Timing, as they say, is everything as the beat builders prepare to make loud noises. Yet another themed tent where the beat builders are in between New York and San Francisco so far. Usually there's a couple of them over here, but I am headed out, guys. It is just way too brutally hot out here. And of course, right before I leave, here comes the thunderstorms to cool things off. But you see behind those trees over there, those are not lighting rigs. That is Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom is missing its tops. Who knows why? Refurbishment. Holy devil's anal farts. It was brutal out there today. Brutally hot. I had to leave. I could not stay around any longer. It was just way too hot. 
Uh, of course, I, I waited to see if it would rain a little bit to cool things off, but I just I could not wait any longer. Uh, just way too hot. But we got to we got to see some uh, some of the new stuff, uh, some some more details over there in lights, camera, action. Also some more details, a lot of details over there in Gorewood Forest, um, and then all the themed uh, bar tents, of course, the Beetlejuice. Uh, Haunting of Hill House, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, the, the uh, Scarecrows and Pumpkins for Wicked Growth, probably. Uh, just, uh, you know, very awesome that they're doing that this year. We've had themed bars in the past couple years, whether it be for Stranger Things or, you know, just dressed up like, you know, Beetlejuice clothes and stuff like that. We've had that in the past, but nothing to this detail. So, very cool to see that type of stuff. We are two weeks, two weeks from opening night. For Halloween Horror Nights, employer preview starts on August 31st, so we are quickly approaching uh, the start of Halloween Horror Nights 30. Uh, next available time, I could be out here is on Monday, but I have another very early doctor's appointment in the morning. Uh, for those of you who have been following, or for those who don't know, uh, some people have, have asked me in private. Uh, so I did get my follow-up scan for the diverticulitis last week. Uh, everything was okay in terms of diverticulitis, but they did find one or two things, incidental findings, uh, that I was worried about, but my main doctor, uh, over the phone told me not to worry about it, but we're gonna go in and talk about it on Monday morning, uh, because I'm a little worried about it. Uh, when I know more details, uh, I'll tell you guys in the future, but, um, it is what it is. So I will probably not be out here Monday, next available time will be Tuesday. Would not surprise me if we see that medallion uh, go up uh, very, very soon uh, at the front of the park. So keep your eyes out for that to the social medias. Uh, but for now, that is going to do it for me today, guys. As usual, everybody, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time.